Hello everyone. Welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell so you won't be left out in any video. Former anti-apartheid activist Tony Ingeni joined the African National Congress ANC, in 1976 and later the organization's armed wing Mkanto We Sizwa. He represented the ruling ANC party in the South African Parliament from 1994 to 2003, including as their chief whip. He was convicted of fraud in 2003 in a case related to the investigation into corruption in an arms deal, but he remained a pillar of the ANC party. He was appointed chairman of the ANC's Crime and Corruption Committee in 2018. Gulam wrote on his social media post that convicted fraudster Tony Ingeni was kicked out of the ANC NEC meeting. The reasons why the African National Congress decided to remove him from the meeting are still unknown, but there are speculations that he was removed because of his previous convictions. According to John Beloy, if the ANC was a normal organization, Tony and Jenny would have ceased being a member after his corruption conviction and imprisonment, followed by a drunk driving case where his blood samples were made to disappear, which cost a station commander his job this week. Tony will be throwing tantrums and running to the media to discuss ANC issues, because he failed to convince comrades in the NEC meeting. An ill-disciplined convicted fraudster, says Mondi. Mkasa's Anid Lamini Zuma and arms deal fraudster convict Tony Ingeni are entitled to their factional preferences, but for them to cite criminality and not be held down by the ANC Congress shows the ANC's shamelessness and removal from the rule of law. Tebza believes that Ramaphosa must go straight to his second term, not through Operation Lands or a criminal network like RET, led by self-proclaimed corruption convicts like Tony Ingeni, insurance fraudster Karl Nyhaus, and Serafina fraudster Nkasa's on Azuma, and people must not be fooled that she is Azuma. What do you think is the reason the African National Congress has decided to remove him from the meeting? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below.